this is Rob Rubin, and you're watching Expert Village. This episode we're going to talk about air tank maintenance. There's really not a lot you need to do as an end user on your own air tank. Um, for example, you don't have to take apart the regulator yourself. Unless you know what you're doing, do not take this apart. Uh, some different regulators require some maintenance if you have moving parts on them, like such. But for the most part, air tanks are pretty much leave it be. Uh, because unless you know what you're doing, you can really hurt yourself with one of these things. But there is one piece of maintenance that you can do, and that requires you checking the tank visually. By law, every air tank that is made has to have a date stamp on it. The date stamp tells you when this tank was created. Fiber wrap tanks have to be hydro tested every three to five years, depending on the air tank itself, depending on the make. Steel tanks must be hydro tested every five years. If your tank is out of date, your paintball field cannot, by law, fill this tank. So, for example, this tank was made in the year 2000. That means this tank is out of date. This tank was made in the year 2003, which means that it is currently still in date. Uh, although this is going to need, need to be rehydro tested very soon. You can rehydro test tanks. For example, this is an old steel tank that I have, and as you can see, there's a new stamp date on it. But it's your responsibility as a player to check the date on the tanks and to know if a tank is in or out of date. Because if you get to the field and the guy looks at the air tank and it's out of date, he's not going to fill it for you no matter how much you beg and ask him to do so. You're not worth the fine. Trust me. When you're inspecting your air tanks at home, the biggest thing that you can check is the O-ring on the top over here. The O-ring is what makes a seal between the air tank and your paintball marker. You want to make sure that the O-ring has a lot of, is basically whole. You don't want any cracks in it. You want to make sure that it's not dried out. And if you need to replace it, always have a whole bunch of spares. You should have this in your, in your kit anyway because you can never have enough O-rings. There is one thing I do want to talk about, and that is on the fill nipple, this little piece right here. Never, under any circumstances, get oil in or around this fill nipple. It, don't, don't even make excuses. Just don't do it. Uh, reason is, is that when you've got high pressure air attached to this through the fill whip or whatever you're using to fill it with, bad things happen with oil and high pressure air. A lot of friction goes on in there. And, uh, yeah, bad things. Very, very bad things. So keep the nipple protected and keep it dry. Also, after playing, you just want to visually inspect your tank. Make sure there's no scars or scrapes on it. Uh, no physical bad damage to the tank. Uh, reason is, is that well, it's a high-pressure air tank. You don't, really don't want to have a breach in your high-pressure air tank. Um, then after you're done, the, uh, get a thread saver like this, just so you put it on the top, because you don't want your threads to get damaged. If you drop the air tank on the threads, it won't get a good seal, and that's not good. And it's just bad for the air tank. So put the thread saver on there, and then uh, put the tank away.